days, only the Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. here on AMHQ, America's Heart Morning Headquarters. It's our job, think of us as your like car service. It's our job to pick you up and deposit you right <laughs> at your weekend destination. We're the Uber of weather. We're the Uber. <laughs> nice one. Uber weather. We're your Uber of weather. All For right. free 99. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, you know, one of the things that we're covering this morning is the dangerous heat that's building this weekend in the West, potentially record-breaking temperatures. Also, red flag warnings in effect for us and a potential of explosive fire growth, including Portland Portland Fire and Rescue responding more than 300 wildland fires on Thursday. A downed power line caused the one in White Salmon. Yeah, that's right. They were very busy. Had a helicopter crews called in as it moved through canyons and damaged three homes. Firefighters spent all night putting out these hot spots. And a spokesperson for the fire rescue there says that when you have these winds and when you have the grass that's so dry, it's yeah. just a matter of time before it balloons out of control. Yeah, and then just bam, spreads like that. Well, enjoy our San Diego view in the background as we get you caught up on those red flag warnings and heat alerts that are out there. Red flag warnings, here you go. Uh, you've got them in Seattle and you've got them in Portland and Eugene as well. Washington State, Oregon, we saw this happen, you know, start picking up really the last couple of days that they were there on the western side of the state. So 51% relative humidity right now in Seattle. Eugene, you're at 46. Medward, 57 degrees. This is very dry air. You can see the winds offshore taking the all any kind of humidity or moisture away from this area. So the southwest will also continue to sizzle. We've been looking at Portland, Oregon. Very nice uh, tonight. You guys have been sending us some incredible sky pictures because it does make for nice weather to enjoy. It's just that we've got big problems in the west and that's dryness. And as we're going to show you in just a minute, you've got an incredible amount of anything in the in the ground just evaporating up in this heat. So here's the temperatures at 5 to 20 degrees above average. And that's all the way along the western coast. America West Coast has a real issue over the next couple of days as we ramp up the heat and they are dry, dry, dry. Take a look at Los Angeles at 89 degrees by the time we get to Friday at 5 o'clock. Phoenix at 104. San Francisco, you're at 78. Sacramento, once you get in the valleys, 101 degrees, easy to get to. Just look at the searing numbers. When you see the white, that's well above 100 degrees. In San Francisco, today is a little bit above average. Tomorrow, you're going to stay above average at 77. But look at Medford at 97 look at LA at 92. We talked to Crystal yesterday. She said we're headed for some of the warmest temperatures they've seen since spring. And so the verification of that is staying in the 90s in LA for at least three days. That's a big deal. Now we talk about any moisture in the ground just kind of dissipating in these kind of temperatures. Take a look at San Diego, 101, 101, even into the 90s. Oh, I'm sorry, Sacramento. And Mike, so there's a very easy to remember um, equation for people to use to talk about evaporation. So easy, Sam. A caveman could do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it is. Uh, put on your thinking caps. Evaporation rate equals 700 times the mean temperature divided by 100 minus the latitude plus 15 times temperature minus dew point temperature divided by 80 minus temperature times millimeters per day. Got it? Great. <laughs> let's just do the calculation for you. Pop so quiz. let's consider, say, a temperature in Sacramento uh, that is in, say, the upper 80s, which is where we'd be this time of year. And say a dew point around 45, which would mean we've got a dry atmosphere, which is very typical in the Central Valley. All right, there's a look at your evaporation rate uh, per day, about six tenths of an inch. Let's amp up the temperature, but keep the dew point temperature the same. Dry atmosphere, temperature of 95, you're going to evaporate 0.71 inches per day. Let's go up to triple digits. Our forecast today is 101. Dew point temperature 45. Look how much water we're evaporating per day. 0.83 inches. Let's take it up to 105. Not unheard of in Sacramento. 45 is your dew point. Look how much you're evaporating. 0.96 inches per day. Almost an inch per day. If you evaporate that much water from Folsom Lake in Sacramento each and every day, you're losing 30 million gallons of water. Amazing, huh? 
by the numbers, it is scary. That is amazing. All right, Mike, thank you. Um, a lot of wet weather is the other story that we're following. In fact, record rain has flooded parts of the area, including in Horn Lake, Mississippi, where a driver had to be rescued from his vehicle after it got stuck in floodwaters. Rescuers waded through waist-deep water just to throw him in that life jacket and then get him out of the car. They were able to pull him to safety before it was completely underwater, and it's all caught on video. Just amazing. We don't want to see that situation again. We do have some flash flooding, though, to tell you about. So heed these warnings and take them seriously. Sometimes we hear flash flood warnings and we don't think much about them, but we're talking one, two, three inches of rain has already fallen in places like Andrews, Gaines, and Lee counties in parts of Texas out until 10, 15 a.m. Mountain Time. And also parts of uh, New Mexico, by the way. Midland, north of I-20, Andrews and Martin counties, uh, you're impacted by this. Again, maybe an additional few inches of rain as it slowly tries to push through these areas. Scurry County, also under that warning, warning to the west of Abilene. Most of the heaviest is north of I-20. By the way, Dallas and Houston reporting minor arrival delays because of the weather in the area. Speaking of weather in the area, at Atlanta, we had some showers and thunderstorms early this morning. The residual effect, flash flood warning still in effect for DeKalb, Fulton, and Gwinnett County. Uh, we're dry right now, but there may be some ponding on the ro roadways. The moral of the story is the setup is still there. We have a boundary to the north. On the south side, it's warm and humid to the north, dry, but that boundary's not moving much as those winds collide, and the result is more showers and thunderstorms pretty much in the same area for the next few, from New Orleans, Jackson, Montgomery, to uh, Charleston and Charlotte, Raleigh, as we get in through tomorrow, and then, of course, through central and southern Florida, some of that tropical moisture lingering as well. Sunday, more of the same. Some areas clearing out like Jackson to below on into Nashville. All right, word coming in now about two Navy fighter jets crashing in the Pacific. Anna Redis, what do we know? What we know now is that they're searching for one of the two pilots involved. We don't know how this happened. This incident is still under investigation, but this is file video of the USS Carl Vinson where they took off from. The first pilot was recovered and is receiving medical care. Now it happened this morning in the Western Pacific just after 5 a.m. their time. Both F-18 Sea Hornets were stationed in Central California. A guilty verdict this morning for Blade Runner Oscar Pistorius. On day two of his verdict reading, the judge ruled he's guilty of culpable murder, similar to manslaughter in this country. He faces up to 15 years in prison when he's sentenced next month and will remain free on bail until then. President Barack Obama has declared a major disaster in California because of the Napa Valley earthquake releasing federal funding. The magnitude 6.0 quake struck in the state's famed wine country last month. One death is blamed on the quake and uh, this woman died this week from her injuries. The White House didn't say how much money may be available, but a preliminary assessment by the governor's office found 87 million in earthquake costs that could be eligible for federal reimbursement. And cooling centers are opening in California with triple digit heat and dry conditions this weekend and into the next. Those who plan to be outdoors during the heat wave are advised to reduce physical physical activity, avoid the sun between the hours of 10 and 3, wear wide-brimmed hats and lightweight, light-colored clothing, drink plenty of water. Of course, don't forget your sunscreen. Slip, slop, slap, slather. Slather. All of the above. All of the above, yeah, yeah. And it's Just important, it especially it at practice. Yeah. And now they've got all these ones that will stay on even when you sweat, but mm -hmm. you still have to reapply. All right, are we teasing or are we getting the pictures out of LAX right now? Okay, uh, look out of LAX at this hour and we can show you as the heat starts to build today, you're starting at about 70 degrees. There is plenty of sunshine to go around. And remember, when you put going into 80 degrees there, by the way, when you pop into the valleys, getting above 100 degrees is not going to be a problem at all. Uh, we are going to help you with your fantasy football league. How do you beat your buds at fantasy football you put weather in the blend coming up currently in our area 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low, 76. Chance of rain, 80%.
here's our seven-day outlook. You get used to food odors in your kitchen. You think it smells fine, but your guests think it smells like this. Febreze Air Effects works instantly to eliminate odors you've gone nose blind to. It smells so much better. So you and your guests can breathe happy. You change your style. Why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. What makes Lay's Kitchen different from the rest? We pride ourselves on bold, authentic flavors with the finest ingredients. Our vegetables are farm-grown and prepared with the passion they deserve. Tangy peppers unite with the sweetness of tomatoes and onions to create our exquisite mesquite barbecue flavor. The satisfying crunch and rich flavors of Lay's Kettle Cooked Chips. One taste and you're in love. With diabetes, it's tough to keep life balanced. I don't always have time to eat like I should. That's why I like Lucerna Shakes. They have slowly digestible carbs to help minimize blood sugar spikes. Glucerna, the number one doctor-recommended brand. Individual style begins with confidence and the perfect new look for fall. Right now at Men's Warehouse, buy one, get one free on almost everything in the store. Plus, get an extra 50% off clearance. Confidence suits you. Only at Men's Warehouse. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three tires, you get the fourth tire free. Instantly. Plus, get up to $70 off select Cooper tires. Trust the boys to get you there. Am I missing a deadline? Will I get there in time? Am I going too fast? Did I close the garage door? Stay in your lane. I don't think I sent that email. I should make a reservation. I thought it was clear. See that coming. Its instinct to protect leaves you free to drive. Lease the Infinity Q50 for $339 a month. Visit your local Infinity retailer. Word is getting out. Purina Dog Chow Light and Healthy is a deliciously tender and crunchy kibble blend with 20% fewer calories than Purina Dog Chow. Isn't it time you discovered the lighter side of Dog Chow? Purina Dog Chow Light and Healthy. Let's take this up a notch. Let's get a plan and get it right. So we're not doing any of this. Let's go to school. Let's go to save. And then let's go to town. So we can enjoy the view and look for what's next. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Save 20% on any two bags of Scott's fertilizer. You get sick, you can't breathe through your nose. Suddenly, you're a mouth breather. Well, put on a Breathe Right strip and instantly open your nose up to 38% more than cold medicines alone. So you can breathe and sleep. Shut your mouth and sleep right. Breathe right. Musical chairs, fun, right? Well, not when your travel rewards card makes it so hard to get a seat using your miles. That's their game. The flights you want are blacked out, or they ask for some ridiculous number of miles. Honestly, it's time to switch to the Venture card from Capital One. With Venture, use your miles on any airline, any flight, any time, no blackout dates. And with every purchase, you'll earn unlimited double miles. From now on, no one's taking your seat away. What's in your wallet? 42 minutes after the hour. Don't you love it when your friends make it big in the movies? Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. A pair of dolphins in Florida, Winter and Hope. No, Winter's a personal friend of mine. <laughs> Inspiring thousands of people and helping other wounded animals get a second chance at life. I thought you were going to say Morgan Freeman, you no, know, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no. No, but the dolphins are fantastic, and these dolphins really are stars. In the incredible true story, Dolphin Tale 2. Winter wasted no time greeting me at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in Clearwater Beach, Florida, where she and Hope now live. Here is actual footage from 2005 when Winter was rescued after her tail got caught in a crab trap off the coast of Florida. Soon after, she lost her tail and today uses this prosthetic tail. This is Winter's tail. As you see, she doesn't have it on her right now. It's the same flexibility, weight, size and shape. Now the main purpose for this tail is for Winter's 
physical therapy. Today, uh, there are people all over the world using Winter's Gel so that they can walk with their prosthetic devices. So not only is it helping a dolphin, but now it's helping people. People from children to wounded soldiers come to the aquarium to see hope and winter and leave inspired. People that have prosthetic devices connected to Winter's story of how she lost her tail, but she's okay, she's doing fine. And we've had just a, a really a pilgrimage from around the world of individuals, kids, wounded soldiers. They got connected to Winter's story and realized, you know what, if she can do this, I can move ahead with my life. Hope is another rescued dolphin who lost her mother when she was just two months old. Both Hope and Winter continue to be rehabilitated at the aquarium, and trainer Abby Stone teaches them how to play with guests, like me. These tricks of me holding on to Hope as she dove underwater, and how the three of us swam together, twirling in the pool. Well, they're all thanks to an aquarium that gave these mammals a second chance at life, so they can inspire thousands. And if you want to feel good moment, just stand back and watch as a wounded vet or a kid with a prosthetic device walks up and realizes that everything's okay because winter's just like them. Mm. It's a pretty much an incredible moment. Winter Tale 2 is now playing in theaters. Dolphin Tail. Yeah, Dolphin Tail too. Winter, though, did very good swimming against Reagan. She won Reagan, by the way. <laughs> yeah, she did. She's <laughs> from <beach. laughs> Time now for sports. Reese has some fantasy football forecasting. Oh, Reese. Reese. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm wanting to hear more about Morgan Freeman. I guess we'll talk about that after. All right, second Sunday of the season. Lineups are being decided in fantasy football. Now, joining me live, Yahoo Sports fantasy expert, Brad Evans. Thanks so much for coming back on, Brad. Now, tell me, what is the best weather game this week and who should start? Well, let's go to northern Wisconsin and look at the Jets-Packers game. Perfect, pristine conditions expected there. Low 60s, plenty of sunshine, light and variable winds in Green Bay. And that's great news for the passing attack of the New York Jets and also of the Green Bay Packers. Going back to the Jets, watch out for Eric Decker. I expect a top 10 fantasy performance from the coveted uh, offseason free agent acquisition. And Eddie Lacy will be in uniform for the Packers, so get him back in your lineup. All right, well, young Justin LaRosa will love to hear that. Now tell me, what is the best sleeper start this Sunday other than my team, which is borderline catatonic? <laughs> well, one guy that I think could pull an Alan Hearns in week two is Mohamed Sanu of the Cincinnati Bengals, drawing a very favorable match against the Atlanta Falcons, a secondary uh, that last week gave up nearly eight yards per attempt and 187 combined receiving yards of Marcus Colson and Brandon Cooks. Remember, more, no Marvin Jones in the lineup, so he's going to start opposite A.J. Green. I'm forecasting somewhere around 75 to 90 receiving yards and a touchdown, and Sanu right now only started at about 2% of Yahoo leagues. Now tell me, like, what guys are on the rise that you should look out for? Some guys that we knew were going to be good but actually might be better than we thought? Well, one guy in particular I'm really high on this week that uh, sliding into the starting role in the Cleveland backfield is Terrence West. Uh, I've nicknamed him the Kegerator with feet because uh, this guy is a load, and he's very shifty in the open field. Great fit for that zone blocking, one cut and go scheme. Remember, no Ben Tate, fell by a knee injury, going to miss the next two to four weeks. And uh -huh, West uh, uh -huh. drawing a great matchup going against New Orleans. I think he'll be a top 20 running back this week. All right, thanks so much, Brad. I appreciate you. I'll hit you on Twitter. Well, actually, we have a bonus question on Twitter. Check that and more AMHQ after the break. I've right, got one shot. Let's go twins right, 24 stretch. 24 stretch, all diamonds. Twins right, 24 stretch, all diamonds on tour. When the game's on the line. Hit them with a hard count. See if they'll tip their hand. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The blitz it up the gut. Get out of the pocket. Ah! So Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. I'm Creek Stewart, Weather Channel survival expert. Every Sunday night, we're taking three regular guys deep into the woods. Are you serious? Where we'll teach them not just to survive, show make fire, but how to truly live. Look at this caveman. Show yourself what you're made of on Weather Channel Survival Sundays. At 9, it's So You Think You'd Survive. Then at 10, Fat Guys in the Woods. Every Sunday night on the Weather Channel. Are you ready? Off the couch, into the weather.
Currently in our area, 78 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Who says desirable can't also be responsible? Six standard safety features, the Lexus RX is proof that fun can be good for you. This is the pursuit of perfection. Lowe's presents How to Work Out the Triceps. Wow. Impress your guests. LB 24 inch vanity, now just 119. Introducing Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofing Stain. The seal just got better. With stain and sealer in one, and easy to choose colors, exceptional beauty and protection have never been easier. New Thompson's Water Seal Waterproofing Stain. Available at the Home Depot. What does an apron have to do with car insurance? Every time you tie in an apron, you make progress. And we like that. Now with the Xfinity TV Go app, you can watch live TV anytime. It's never been easier with so many networks all in one place. Get live TV whenever you want. The Xfinity TV Go app. Now with live TV on the go. Enjoy over Wi-Fi or on Verizon Wireless 4G LTE. Plus, now you get up to a $100 prepaid card when you purchase any new Verizon wireless smartphone or tablet from Comcast. Visit comcast.com slash wireless to learn more. At Franklin Templeton, our investment insights start on the ground with local analysts spotting opportunities as they emerge. Invest through the eyes of hundreds of local experts worldwide. Franklin Templeton Investments. If you struggle with back pain, you have the power to turn it off with this. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. Turn on relaxing pulses that quickly block even chronic back pain. It's wireless, reusable, and easy to use. Turn on Smart Relief and turn off pain. Loans today or go to quickenloans.com for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. They're back for their biggest season yet. An all new season of Prospectors coming in December on the Weather Channel. Welcome back, everyone. Pitch past the hour. Time for your tropical update. Plenty going on in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Let's get right to it and show you what's going on because we've got issues on both coasts here. We've got Tropical Storm Odile just off the Mexican coast, Tropical Depression 16E, and the area to watch off of Central America. Let's get to Odile here. Winds are at 60 miles per hour. Pressure has gone down, so winds have gone up. Westerly movement, but just two miles per hour. It's barely budged here in the last 24 hours. What's ominous about this is the track, almost identical to Norbert from last week, as it comes right up past Baja California could become a category two hurricane so it could have some real punch to it. Here's a look at the atmospheric moisture. I think this is the one thing we should really focus on here in the U.S. and what impacts we could have. The low sitting right in there and all you have to do is watch where this goes in this direction where you have pinks, where you have purples, where you have reds on the map. That's where you have the most moisture. Look how it surges north here but notice really throwing moisture right in to the southwest United States. So Arizona, Nevada, 
Utah, Southern California. We all need to be on the lookout for some potential flooding rains uh, by uh, next week. Now we take you out into the Atlantic. We have Invest 92L by Florida. We have Tropical Storm Edward. Then we Invest 93L that's come off the coast of Africa. Let's get you down to the system here in Florida, basically sitting right on the coast. You can see the thunderstorms, how they've erupted here in the Bahamas and in South Florida. Underneath those clouds, plenty of rain. It's just nailing us here in South Florida, especially in the Keys this morning from Key West up toward Marathon, some of the heaviest rain for us right now. And the waves are going to be a little choppy for you this morning. We're going to watch the energy, though. The low again is going to sit in here today and then gradually work its way through the Gulf of Mexico and potentially close to the Texas coast through early next week. The low itself and the energy may actually end up right about there. On Sunday, you can see a little bit of spin in the atmosphere there and then watch it potentially roll its way up toward uh, the Texas coast. Could it be here? Could it be maybe more in here or take a southerly track? Time will tell and we'll keep updating you on that forecast. Not just Florida though, it'll take you out to uh, the tropical storm we have here. Again, this is Edward. It's got a pretty good low level circulation to it right now. The winds are at 40 miles per hour. The pressure is high at 1,005. Once that pressure comes down, the winds will go up. Could potentially become early next week a hurricane, but notice the track takes it thousands of miles away from the United States, so it should not be a threat to even Bermuda. And that's the latest on the tropics. Let's head back outside and talk to electric vehicles with the crew. All right, Mike, you know, you did a great job talking about some of the affordable to the mid-grade level of electric cars as we kind of give you a preview to Electric Week next week. But I'm going to talk about the luxury so side of things. Adderall. Have a look inside a Tesla S and Fisca Karma. <laughs> Tesla S sets a new standard for premium electric vehicle performance. You've heard about the touchscreen and digital features, but we were surprised to learn that Tesla can seat up to seven people. With exceptional grip and comfort in cold weather, this car's climate control system allows you to preheat it from your Android phone or iPhone before you drive. You can go nearly 300 miles before you need a charge. With its attractive, sleek, modern style, you almost forget you're driving electric. But the price tag will remind you, starting at about $80,000. While the Fisher Karma is at the top of the list in hybrid luxury, the total range with a full tank of gas and fully charged battery is 230 miles. The solar-powered roof comes standard, but add on the bells and whistles, you'll be well over the $100,000 range. So rich for my blood, but they're really darn cute. And of course, we're joined again by Mike Bainenson, co-captain of the National Drive Electric Week events here in Atlanta. We were looking at the inside. They're absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic. We have the Tesla and we have the Fisker, uh, but at $80,000 and up, they are kind of expensive. So what's the incentive to buy big? They're incentive and they're gorgeous car. They're they fun to drive and it, it really fits a specific segment of the market. But once you get behind a wheel, one of these, you wouldn't want to buy one. All right, talk to me about price per mileage to run price these Price per mileage, if, if you're talking about electric vehicle, it's really depending on the utility uh, where you are in the country, but roughly between one and four cents per mile, which is extremely affordable. Okay, we're talking about e economic and environmental impact. What about the batteries? You know, what do we do when we use them up or do we? There's a lot of projects out there that repurpose the batteries. For example, you can take solar energy and use the storage of the batteries as for future use for the uh, energy. Okay, uh, so we are looking at these gorgeous vehicles. We saw the inside. Uh, they can really go super high end. Is there a demand? Are you seeing that that increase? Tesla has been breaking records. They've been selling more vehicles uh, month after month. And if you look at their projections for next year, they're just phenomenal. And what about rebates? <laughs> Come here. No, no, no. Come here. No? Okay. Forget that. I know the rebates are really important. You can look that up online. Oh, what you boy, can't Mike. look up online is, did you see this thing? It's so this cute. Is the, this is the BMW. If I got this right, I8. Somebody tell me. All right. There's so, three so engines in this inside? thing. Yeah, you probably need it. There's three engines in this thing. Anything. One uh, handles the front wheels, which is right. Electric. Did somebody tell me if I'm right about this? And then. What the? What is going on? Wait a on? second. All right. Now, that's beautiful, too. Take one of these, guys. So we'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Bye. That's beautiful, too. We got that some is the, here in the front. We're going scuba diving. Bye. <laughs> all right, that's the Tesla, all electric Tesla. We got them all. We got them all. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Without, we've got the radar firing up across the south. We're tracking scattered storms. Find out where heavy rain could wash out your weekend plan. And meanwhile, the tropical Atlantic, it's heating up. We've got a newly named storm, Eduardo, and we also have a tropical low off the coast of Florida. Expert analysis from Carl Parker on the track and potential impacts. Plus, it's been nearly two years since Superstorm Sandy hit, but now FEMA wants some of the money back from victims of Sandy. We'll let you know why as your weekend begins right here, right now on Wake Up Without. Live from New York and the heart of Rockefeller Center, it's Wake Up With Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Good morning. It's Friday, September 12th, 2014. Top of the morning, top of the hour to you. Welcome into Wake Up With Al. We're live in New York. And not only do we have those stories, but it's also getting cold. Just yeah. downright cold in a lot of places. That's right. Well, let's check out the top three weather stories. Everything you need to know as you get ready to have the door and prep for your weekend. If you're down south, you're going to have to worry about some wet weather. Also here in the northeast as well. We are keeping an eye on the tropics and things are going to be cooling off in the northeast also. From Houston to Little Rock, Jackson, Atlanta, Asheville, all the way down into central Florida. And as you get into southern Florida, heavier rain from this system we're watching. There's Edward, not going to be a problem. But Carl Parker is concerned about this area. We're going to get his expert analysis coming up. And here in the northeast, temperatures in the 60s to the north and then right along the coast. Temperatures will be in the 70s, but it'll even cool down further than that. Let's head to Jen and get the latest on those storms in the southeast. Al, it is raining and raining and raining here right now in parts of the south. Let's go to Dallas and Atlanta, where we are going to be looking at a pretty wet weekend ahead. Both spots have some threatening rain in the area and both have a pretty off and on stormy weekend. So we take a look at Texas first. This is not Dallas, uh, but we're looking at Andrews County, also Gaines and Martin counties under a flash flood warning. Look at all this rain here. This rain has not been moving over the past couple of hours, and we are looking at flash flood warnings in effect in the town of Snyder. There are some barricades up on roads because of how much rainfall we have seen, and it's been inches and it's been about an inch an hour. Now, as we broaden out the view, you can see this here along and ahead of the front here and above the front, I should say, across northern Texas. Dallas, nothing in town just yet, but north of the area is where we're getting the rain. Atlanta, it's been spotty after some heavy rain overnight up in Gwinnett County, but that has fizzled. But there's going to be more. This front stays put, and so this is the reason why we've got a pretty off and on stormy weekend. It's not a complete washout all day, all night, but it's off and on showers and storms that you got to watch. And that's for today as well. You can see in South Carolina, in North Carolina, from Charlotte over towards Raleigh, we've got showers in the forecast here. And I know the Atlanta area in particular for golfers of interest with this rain because, of course, we've got the Tour Championship going on. East Lake, we're going to be watching for showers Saturday and Sunday chances here all the way down, of course, through Florida. We're keeping an eye on the wet weather. Guys, back to you. All right, let's get to the latest what's going on in the tropics. Newly named Storm Edward, and we're talking about that invest just off the Florida coast. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's really our main focus right now. And there is a newly named Invest uh, off the coast of Africa. So here's a look at the Atlantic overall. There's Edward, which is going to be moving up to the northwest and then the north and into the North Atlantic. So it does not appear that it's going to be a threat to the U.S. Here's the new Invest that is to the south and east of that. And we'll keep our eyes on that. We've got a long time to figure that one out. And then here is the one that we're most concerned about because it's going to be coming out into the Gulf of Mexico. Now that area is being given a 40% chance of developing in the next five days and it's now on the coast of Florida. There may have actually been a couple of little centers here but the model's showing a center right along the east coast of Florida but you'll notice that the thunderstorms are displaced well off to the south and to the west so there's still very strong wind blowing the storms away from the center and right now we are getting some wet weather but 
in largely unpopulated areas now moving away from where most people live there in South Florida. And here's that very strong wind aloft. Uh, we're looking at the 300 millibar wind. So this is at about 30,000 feet up in the atmosphere. And when those very strong winds come down again, they blow the storms away from the center. As long as that's the case, it's not going to develop. And in fact, there's the possible development area. We think that that wind shear is going to continue to be in place over the next couple of days. But perhaps as the storm comes out into the central and western Gulf, it may lessen somewhat so we will keep a very close eye on it. Now I'll step back to you. All right, let's get caught up on our weather headlines this morning, starting with another photogenic gem from American astronaut Reed Weissman. Who, by the way, we are interviewing next week about all his phenomenal photography. He's still going to be That's up so in the space, and we're going to talk to him. He was capturing this amazing lightning show, sending it by a vine while aboard the International Space Station. Yes. Wow. It's in real time. It is not sped up, by the way. Look at that. Yes, and for astronauts, just quite a show. The things that you can see, Weissman tweeting, who knew lightning was so fast? This blew my mind. Wow. I can't wait to talk to him. Yeah, that's going to be very gonna cool. Be awesome. And looking, at, you're looking at history right here. Rapid City, South Dakota. Snow in September. Earliest recorded snowfall going on back to 1888, Steph. Why? Like, what, like people didn't talk like yes, that back then. Yes, they did, then. especially up there. People just didn't walk around talking fall like blast, that. Fall blast, dump more than two inches in Rapid City. No. Yeah, uh, they did. No. Other towns in South Dakota reporting anywhere from six to six to eight inches. Lows in Rapid City in the thirties. <laughs> and you wake up climbing into the fifties today. I'm just gonna let you and, and they, they, they walk yeah, they like that. Like that. Like, That's right. Bye, Cracky. Jen, Jen Carfagno, what help. do you got? Please help us. <laughs> It just reminds me of like, I don't know, the Dukes of Hazard, Hazard, Kentucky. That's what that accent reminds me of, Al. Um, definitely not New York City, which is where you are. Been much cooler today here all across the Northeast. Back in Buffalo and Pittsburgh, we still have not made it out of the 50s. Got some sun out across the eastern seaboard and lower humidity. So overall, a much nicer day. And that's what we'll see across the area. Enjoy it. The front is through. It's a little breezy, and you're really feeling that in Philadelphia this morning. But other than that, we've got great weather today, and we are going to keep it nice through this evening as well. Tomorrow, the rain comes back, so you really want to enjoy this forecast here in Boston, where temperatures today are starting off in the low 60s. We warm up to the upper 60s, and that's about it. It'll be a great evening out here for all this Friday night football games in the Boston area. Now, we head to the south, and we are going to be watching for some showers. Already this morning, we've seen it in the Atlanta area. There will be more. We'll be watching that forecast for off and on showers and storms right through the afternoon. Back to you guys. You know, Yosemite Sam <laughs> used to visit up there in Rapid City. Wild waves making for uh, quite the adventure at Lake Superior. Yes, check out this guy. Surfers from Traverse City drove to Presque Isle, Michigan to take advantage of the big waves and their and they're a product of the storm that crossed the area earlier this week. Wednesday, some of the waves reaching 14 feet. Well, not all about the thrill either. Believe it or not, rip current warnings issued in some uh, of the areas. I believe it, looking but, at uh, that. You, know, you never think of rip no. currents on, on a lake. If I showed this video to 90% of the country and said, where is this? They would be guessing oceans, yeah, right? Yeah, like, like along the eastern seaboard, maybe up in New England. Easily. Crazy stuff, wow. Well, it was supposed to be uh, to help those families that were hit hard by Superstorm Sandy. But FEMA says not everyone deserved the aid they received. Now, more than a billion dollars later, some of that money could be coming back. We look at why thousands of families may be forced to return money. Listen up, Thunder Dragons. It's time to get a hotel. Hey, Razor, check this out. We can save big with Priceline Express deals. You know what, man? These guys ain't no dragons. They're cool. These deals are legit. Hey, we're cool. She's cool. We're cool. Priceline Express deals really are legit. Thousands of people book them every day. Perhaps it's because there are thousands of four-star hotels to choose from. Or maybe people just like saving up to 55%. Look, saving you money makes us happy. Some question physics. Some question gravity. And some even have the audacity to question improbability. These are some of the bold new Ram commercial trucks built to blow your imagination. Guts, glory, Ram. When you fly a 1941 AT6 Warbird in the Oshkosh Air Show, reliable weather details matter. 
pilots turn to the Weather Channel for precise and trustworthy reports about precipitation, wind, and visibility critical to their safety. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. They're back for their biggest season yet. In all new season of prospectors, Coming in December on the Weather Channel. So what we're looking for is a way to plus our accounting firm's mobile plan. And minus our expenses. Perfect timing. We're offering our best ever pricing on mobile plans for business. Run the numbers on that. Well, unlimited talk and text and 10 gigs of data for the five of you would be... 175 a month. Mm -hmm. Good calculating, Kyle. Good job, Kyle. You just made partner. Our best ever pricing on mobile share value plans for business. Now with $100 bill credit for every business line you add. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three tires, you get the fourth tire free. Instantly. Plus, get up to $70 off select Cooper tires. Trust the boys to get you there. You change your style, why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. Good morning, Chicago. I didn't know they called it the second city. Yeah. New York's the first city, Chicago's the second city. Interesting. All right. Yeah, learn <laughs> something new every day. You also learned that yesterday they had a record cold high of only 56 degrees. Wow. That's all they got. Man. They're going to might see a repeat of that today. We're forecasting right around uh, the mid to upper 50s, and that is well below average by Look at 20 that. Minneapolis, degrees. 56 degrees. That's yeah. 17 degrees below average. Even Louisville, 74. That's 70 degrees below Casey, average. Casey, which has been so hot. It's so nice to see some cooler air. We get a little bit of a rebound as we head into tomorrow, but still, we're 10, 15 degrees below average. Oh, my gosh. And, and so, Minneapolis, you're, you're very close uh, to the record low, or the record high, record low high, I should <laughs> yeah. say. 55 is the record cold high. Today's forecast, 56 degrees. By the way, don't, like... Chicago being called the second city, it's not like a nice ter term of endearment. I was going to say. I, yeah, it's not yeah. a friendly, nice thing. Anyway, thousands of folks might have to actually pay back their share of Hurricane Sandy disaster aid. The Federal Emergency Management, that would be FEMA, is scrutinizing about 4,500 households that it suspects received improper payments. WNBC's Danielle Elias reports. So this was the next day, the view of how much water was still around. Devastating scenes from nearly two years ago captured on camera. So this is the whole main street, which it was just a lake from hit across the street to here. Still burned in the memory of Nancy Zagari Shan. The little canal going through, that was never there before the storm. It was a long so and expensive road to recovery that she only later learned was in question by FEMA. I was only involved with them for five months, but they had pulled what I heard 40 families out of Tom's River, 40 out of Bricktown, and 40 out of Manahawkin to start auditing to make sure that they had used all their insurance money and that they really were entitled to this extra help. There are many folks like Nancy who are fortunate enough to have had insurance and federal funds to help rebuild. But nearly two years after the storm, there are still some folks with what's considered a second home with no help in sight. As of June of this year, FEMA says they've scrutinized more than 7,200 cases suspected of receiving improper payouts.
FEMA released this statement saying in part, in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, FEMA has provided more than $1.4 billion in assistance to disaster survivors. Approximately 560 notice of debt letters have been sent with a combined value of approximately $4.9 million. It's not in anybody's interest for the federal government to seek repayment from someone who simply doesn't have the funds to repay it. Now many are finding themselves underwater, frustrated and in need of help. In Tom's River, Danielle Elias, News 4 New York. I mean, first they were literally underwater and now they're figuratively underwater. Many people asked to return money were deemed ineligible because their damaged property were vacation homes, rental properties, and not their primary residence. Well, that's a tough, that is a tough yeah. letter to get. All right, let's head over to Jen Carfagno, find out what we've got going on next seven days. Well, I hope I can deliver some better news. We do have some great weather today in the Northeast and around Tom's River. Beautiful. Enjoy it. This system in the middle of the country is on the move. Some rain heading into the northeast by tomorrow. Plus the southeast, we have this front that gets stuck here. We're going to see the showers and possible storms stick around through the weekend. Not a washout, but still, you got some rain out there to contend with. Then we look to Sunday. High pressure back in the northeast looks great. We're going to see temperatures still on the cooler side, but rebounding a bit across the Midwest. And then the heat. This is going to be a huge story into next week with temperatures nearly 100 in places like Los Angeles, 96 degrees. If you round up, it's a all right, next weather maker for the middle of the country comes in on Monday. That tracks pretty quickly to the northeast by Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, actually high pressure across a good chunk of the nation. Back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, Jen. Well, our Reagan Medji's getting up close and personal with this guy, the star of Dolphin Tales 2. <laughs> <laughs> that was my terrible dolphin noise. See how this dolphin is doing more than warming hearts. I've always loved exploring and looking for something better. That's the way I look at life. Especially now that I live with a higher risk of stroke due to AFib. A type of irregular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. I was taking warfarin, but I wondered if I kept digging, could I come up with something better? My doctor told me about Eliquis for three important reasons. One, in a clinical trial, Eliquis was proven to reduce the risk of stroke better than warfarin. Two, Eliquis had less major bleeding than warfarin. And three, unlike warfarin, there's no routine blood testing. Don't stop taking Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to, as stopping increases your risk of having a stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for any bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding, like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Those three important reasons are why Eliquis is a better find for me. Ask your doctor today if Eliquis is right for you. From two stories to 20. From ready apps to emergency response. From your community to a nationwide network. The cleanup specialists at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Everything under your roof. Everyone under ours. Helping to make fire and water damage like it never even happened. You guys are good to go? Let me just get this out of here. Unlike some places, we don't just change your oil. Our oil offer comes with a four tire rotation and a 27 point inspection. And everything looked great. Actually, could you leave those in? Sure. Want me to run them through the car wash for you too? No, I, I can't. Get our everyday price match guarantee plus a $100 rebate on four select tires from your tire experts. Chevy Certified Service. When you fly a 1941 AT6 Warbird in the Oshkosh Air Show, reliable weather details matter. Pilots turn to the Weather Channel for precise and trustworthy reports. Get luxury for less at Alpacker Lincoln. Enjoy incredible savings on Lincoln's best-selling models, like the all-new 2015 Lincoln MKC, just $3.19 a month, or a new 2014 Lincoln MKX, just $3.99 a month. Enjoy luxury for less with bottom-line windshield pricing. Only at Alpacker Lincoln on Military Trail. And remember, before you fly, price packer. 
In today's global economy, spotting smart investments requires expertise from the ground up, seeing first what others see eventually. At Franklin Templeton, we have hundreds of experts across the globe with local insight that gives us a broader perspective for navigating world markets. This approach has helped us achieve great heights in global investing for over 60 years. Franklin Templeton Investments, gain from our perspective. Interest for 12 months, so call 888-4CHAMPION today because every home needs a champion. They're back for their biggest season yet. An all new season of Prospectors, coming in December on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Are. Welcome back to Waco with our quick check of today's travel conditions. Dallas, you could see some activity going on there. Some problems in Houston, Miami, and Atlanta. Hey, if you're driving or maybe going by train, we just had a little train going on in the uh, studio, a little dance party in the commercial. 92 yep. and some after. <laughs> we just lost what? our stage manager. I don't know what she and just, just wow. happened. All right, well, it's a story <laughs> of dedicated professionals trying to save wildlife from the dangers of man and mother nature. And when Dolphin Tail 2 hit theaters, today. It will be the men and women of Clearwater Marine Aquarium in the spotlight for the work that they do. That's right, Megan Re Reagan Medgie. <laughs> How many you'll get it? I know, I, you know what, it's, it's I didn't just, just call you I Megan. Didn't, no, uh, RM. Like, anyway, uh, RM. So tell us about this. <laughs> this looks like it's so cool. Yeah, so you'll see a cup, that's winter, and then you'll see me swimming and all this kind of good stuff for the story. I'm not going to talk about this when you can actually see the story I put together. Well, Dolphins Hope and Winter both suffered debilitating losses in the wild. But at the Clearwater Aquarium, they both found a second chance. Meet Winter and Hope. Winter was the star of the first Dolphin Tail movie, telling the story of how she lost her tail after was caught in a crab trap line and then was nursed back to health by the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. <laughs> the movie's feel-good theme won the hearts of moviegoers, who now come to visit her here at the aquarium. Our tenants went from 78,000 eight years ago to 750,000 year after the movie. Since the movie's debut, the nonprofit rescue, rehab and release center has been able to expand. Now, able to give life-saving treatment to more animals that live in the waters around Florida. We built a brand new animal care wing on our west property that was a parking lot. We're actually rehabbing a dolphin out there and a number of sea turtles right now. So we have more room for animals to, from the rescue rehab perspective. We have more room for our guests here. Beyond the three hours of rescue we have in release, we also promote environmental education. Now, real life has once again made the big screen, this time with a story of Hope, another rescue dolphin. Hope was rescued as a baby, that is, after her mother died. Dolphin trainer Abby Stone has helped rehabilitate both Winter and Hope from the day they were brought to the facility. And she's seen firsthand how these two dolphins have influenced the people who come visit them. I think they're inspired because, you know, it, it's this message that really anything's possible and you keep trying. But also at the same time, I think people realize that they can inspire other people as well. Abby also teaches the dolphins how to play, just as they would in the wild, and hope, well, she showed off, allowing me to hold on tight as she dove underwater. And despite giving me an opportunity to swim with the movie's main characters, aquarium officials have made it clear their expansion focus remains on the rehab and the release of these amazing animals and not turning this facility into a theme park. Oh. 
Did you just kiss the dolphin? No. I don't even know what camera I'm looking at. Okay, well, neither of the dolphins are good candidates. Okay, there we go. To be released back into the wild. Winter with her prosthetic tail and hope. We never learn the survival skills necessary to withstand life in the sea. Now, that movie opens up today. Can they actually put a dolphin with a prosthetic back into the wild if they had the no, proper... because No, because what they use for the prosthetic tail, that's actually physical therapy for oh. that dolphin. Yeah. Okay. Because now she swims like a shark. So yeah. this is getting her that motion so gotcha. her back doesn't get all mangled up, um, but they're going to, you know, hang out at the Clearwater Marine, and they're good to go. That's great. Yeah. Reagan, thank you so no much. No problem. All right, let's head over to Carl Parker for a tropical update. Carl. Well, we are now watching a tropical system, and it is uh, off the coast of Mexico. Tropical storm uh, Ode, or Odile, I should say, 60 mile per hour winds, and it's moving off towards the northwest and will likely become a hurricane as it passes to the west of Mexico. Could be a category two storm going into the early part of next week, and that's going to mean, once again, very large waves that could be generated and move uh, up towards Southern California into the early part of next week. And the other thing we're watching watching for is the possibility of moisture being drawn up by this system across northwest Mexico and into the southwest. We'll have more on the southeast storms coming right up. Stay tuned. This time of year, you just need some fertilizer with weed control and a spreader to distribute it evenly. It's not rocket horticulture. Oh. <laughs> it's not rocket grilling either, right, guys? Getting help at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. You know our brands, but you may not know. We're a family. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Days In, where you can do everything under the sun. For a chance to win $1 million, visit WyndhamRewards.com. The six-cylinder, eight-speed Lexus GS, with more standard horsepower than any of its German competitors. This is a wake-up call. It's not every day that you find yourself at the corner of a little flu shot and a world of difference. When you get any immunization at Walgreens, you'll help provide a life-saving vaccine to a child in a developing country through the UN Foundation's Shot at Life campaign. Thanks to customers like you, last year we helped supply 3 million vaccines to children in need. This year, help give even more. It's easy at Walgreens. Simply get a shot and give a shot. At the corner of happy and healthy. You know what my business philosophy is, Reynolds? No, not exactly. To attain success, I must project success. That's why we use FedEx One Rate. Their flat rate shipping. Exactly. It makes us look top notch, but we know it's affordable. Honey, haven't I asked you to please we use the We don't have a reception entrance. entrance. Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50. When the game's on the line. Okay, this is for the game. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The board, the board, he's keeping it. Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. Discover card. Hey, I heard you guys can help me with frog protection. Yeah, we help with fraud protection. We monitor every purchase every day and alert you if anything looks unusual. Wow. You're really looking out for us. We are. And if there are unauthorized purchases on your Discover card, you're never held responsible. Just to be clear, you are saying frog protection, right? Yeah, fraud protection. Frog protection. Fraud protection. Frog. Fraud. Frog. Fraud. I think we're on the same page. We're totally on the same page. At Discover, we treat you like you'd treat you. Fraud protection. Get it at discover.com. I found a happy space. After school snacking should be fun and nutritious. That's why Whole Grain is first in every General Mills Big G cereal. What matters most should always come first. General Mills, goodness first. I'm Creek Stewart, Weather Channel survival expert. Every Sunday night, we're taking three regular guys deep into the woods. Are you serious? Where we'll teach them not just to survive, but how to truly live. Show makes fire. Fat guys in the woods, Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Off the couch, into the weather. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies.
today. Mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. They're back for their biggest.